All right. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Average Takes. Welcome back. We're back. In the house. Um, we got top 10 left fielders entering 2023 season. Um, World Baseball Classic still going on. We got spring training still going on. Just looked at my phone for now. Tatis just hit his first bomb of spring training. Okay, crickets. Um, <laughs> all right, we're going to go into top 10 left fielders starting notice. now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Average Takes. We got a full fucking crowd. To comment on what you said, though, it's perfect timing for him to be warming up. First dinger. First dinger for Fernando. Good. Good. The team's gelling back together because yep. the DR lost, yep. Korea lost. Yep. So we got Kim, we got Manny coming back, we got Juan Soto, we got the general manager Nelson Cruz coming back. Mm. Love it, love it. This year's gonna be great. All right, I already saw that Hasan Kim followed up his return with a three for three day. Yep. Coming back perfect as ever. People say WC I think this is bad. I think this was perfect for Hassan Kim. Yeah. Back he went home. He missed his family, misses his friends. Yeah, he went across the seas, played some games, yeah. got comfortable with his brethren. Yep. Is uh, hey. any Padre still playing? Uh, you Darvish in Japan. Um, and Nick Martinez. Nick Martinez in the United States. Oh, I've been to the DR. Brutal, huh? DR lost, man. Brutal. Rip Edwin Diaz. Puerto Rico. Oh, yeah. You Puerto know what? So let's talk oh, about so Edwin baby. Diaz. Let's, let's talk go. about Edwin Diaz. Edwin Diaz has a significant injury after their win. He was celebrating their win, jumping up and down, tore his patella tendon in his knee. He's going to miss the next. 12 to 18 months I read um, wow. A lot of people shitting on the DR Right now I mean not DR but a lot of people shitting on The WBC God damn I don't know <laughs> what the hell that has um, But WBC they, I don't think they're getting that much hate No yeah the WBC is getting hate because of this Injury and because of the circumstances Everyone's saying why, why Care about the World Baseball Classic When we have baseball to play we have the mlb the world series to play for who cares about the world baseball classic but a lot of people care about it a lot of countries care about it all the people in playing players, in the wb a lot of players care about it, care about it. Yeah. Yeah. a lot of players care about it um yadi he's the puerto rican gentleman or uh, manager he said he'd rather win a WBC than a World Series. 100%. That's for your country. Playing for your country. Yeah. And the, instead of uh, a country. Fuck no. Fuck no. Free land of liberty. <laughs> but owners don't like to hear that because I pay you millions of dollars to win me one. And you want to go win it for your country instead of me. But I think that's how the people who are Fuck. right now are thinking Fuck no nobody yeah. nobody Mets, talks about Mets, how many Mets, world baseball them. classics he won every every one of the Mets is like we paid edwin diaz so much money and now he's out because of wbc that's 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 the, their fault for, don't, don't pay the man if you don't want him to get hurt don't pay him i mean anyone could get hurt on any day you could be practicing at home you could be training at the gym you could got be hurt today spring training i forgot on the Mets also anybody Anybody could get hurt at any time. I mean, that's Brandon game. Nimmo. That's yeah, how it is. that's a game. It's that's the name Nemo's of the game. It, <laughs> you know, it definitely happens. Yeah. Um. But all right, let's get into. By the way, when we talk about legacy, nobody says, "Oh, this guy's a five-time World Baseball Classic winner." Nobody I haven't heard that once in my life. So the World Series is ten times more important than a winning one World Baseball Classic. That's because World Series happens every year. You're not gonna get a guy that plays in five WBCs. Shohei. No. Shohei might when it's all said and done. But that's how we think here. Maybe it's different other places. Like, what if in the Dominican Republic, like, damn, we've won like five, five or those? 
I mean, I watched, the only baseball I watched a, like a little documentary and they talked about how other countries except the United States take that so seriously, like Japan and Korea. Like, like this fun. is their most watched sporting event. Like they, they said Japan versus Korea had 64 billion or 64 million views. And that yeah. was okay. My bad. Hold on. 64 million views. And the, like largest watch Super Bowl only had 54 million. So that world that I thought that was the World Series. Sorry. Our World Series. I don't yeah. know. I'm just talking. <laughs> the Super Bowl gets a lot of views, not gonna lie. But no, no I thought no, you're I thought right. Like you're right. You're right pack. on Japan's uh Japan that one game had more viewers than the World Series clinching game last year. Perfect. Yeah, that's wild. Um, what was I gonna say? Fuck. W. The WBC um, is is like the Olympics. You guys, uh, does anybody see it like the Olympics? Like, why doesn't anybody like? Well, it's it? not the Olympics, Olympics because the MLB pays for this event. This is an MLB sponsored yeah, but, but event. But everybody likes the Olympics because it's all these different types of countries, every all these parts of the world coming yeah. together and competing. And like that's basically what the WBC is. I mean, it's basically, I think it's good yeah. for the world though to do to do that, even yeah. though like because like, well, like come it, together and like one yeah, thing. You know, like, they do awesome. this Roman because the Olympics are during summer and that's like middle of the season for these guys. So most of the Olympic teams are minor leaguers. There's probably rarely a major leaguer that's playing on the Olympic teams. Like and this is in spring training. You get a lot bigger names pl- coming out playing on this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I like MLB set it up so it's pretty much every two years we get some kind of baseball on a world stage where World Baseball Classic two years, uh, what should call it Olympics two years? But I don't know. I've only watched a couple games. I'll probably watch the final game, whoever it's between. But other than that, my Next my main year. guys I watch are out. They're on. They're back home in uh, Peoria. So. And I'm focused on the Padres. Exactly. I'm focused on the regular season. And it'll be right around the corner. Right around the corner. What? 13 days away? We're 13 days, yep. ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Awfully nice, moment. though. Awfully nice of the players from the DR to just lose that one and come back to their team. <laughs> Have a nice two it's weeks the before the season. Yeah. It's all part of the plan. Get back in and mesh. All right. All right. Top 10 left fielders, 2023. Who's first? Who wants to start us off? Not me. All right, I fucking will. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> um, number 10. Um, you know, this, was, this is a great... I mean, outfielders are such a great position in the MLB right now. I feel like we have some great outfielders, some great young talent. Um, I'm starting off with a little bit of a sleeper. Um, someone who's been injured the last couple of years, but when healthy, he is freaking a stud. I'm going with Eloy Jimenez, the White Sox. He's had a couple of injuries the last couple of years, you know. It was like a shoulder and a knee or something like that. Something crazy. And he's making your list. Um, and he's making my list. Wow. Top 10. Wow. Number 10. Um, only had 292 at-bats, but he batted at 295 and 16 bombs. Um, had a 1.7 war. Don't care about that much, but left fielder. I feel like if they stick him in a DH position, like full-time, he might go fucking bananas. But if they, they keep him in the outfield, like he's playing in, in uh, the World Baseball Classic, he's playing out and right, actually, that I noticed this time around. But um, I'm giving it Eloy Menes 10 for left field for me. Well, I'll make it easy. I'm also doing Eloy Menes in the 10 spot. Uh... <laughs> but, yeah, uh, Bob pretty much said it all, you know. Bad on injuries, but hopefully if he stays uh, healthy this year, he's having a pretty good season. Perfect. I'll go next. Mine is Ian Happ. Uh, you thought, Colin. 
Chicago Cubs. Um, 271 batting average this year, 17 home runs, 72 RBIs. Um, he's 28 years old, um, coming off his third season of his career, um, playing decent ball. Those are good numbers, but um, yeah, number 10, Ian Happ. Trevor, my number 10 is a former MVP, former bag stealer, former World Series champion. That is Chris Bryant of the Colorado Rockies. Injury plagued year, but someone on this podcast, I think two of us on this podcast maybe said that uh, Chris Bryant is just going to Colorado for the money. And he Early didn't retirement. Play. Early retirement. That was my, that was my take. Yeah. 20 games, it felt yep. like. Yep, that was my take. Yeah. Early retirement in Colorado, and I feel like that He's take well. has been fucking Hall of Fame worthy to this point. <laughs> I want to just say that, pinpoint. Love that. Um, Chris Bryant goes to Colorado just to have a nice early retirement. Snow skiing, take the DL every once in a while, <laughs> you know, down low, designated list, you know. Whatever. Uh, keep going, Trevor. Go ahead with your number ten pick. Um, I mean, if you look at the numbers, I mean, he hit three hundred six with five bombs, fourteen RBIs. Um, in forty six games, he had a point six WAR. So, uh, numbers don't maybe not want to look at him, but resume wise, top ten left fielder, and that's why I got a number ten. I just don't like them moving to the left field permanently. It's a great third baseman. Is good. It's a great third base. Yeah, I don't know why the fuck they just stick him in left field and go, you know what? Die out there. Yeah, yeah they're <laughs> like, hey, read Nolan Arnato, see ya. Let's <laughs> sign Chris Bryant in the offseason. All right. And then let's put him in left field. Yeah. What? It's the Rockies. Sure Rockies. Uh... Oh, what? What? Um, Do you want to bounce back, Trevor? Or you want to just go to me and we'll just. I can bounce circle. back. I can bounce back. Okay. Uh, bounce back. Bounce back. My number ten or number nine is going to be. You're right. Number nine. <sighs> Excuse you. Um, I think this is going to be his last year on the Cubs, and that's Ian Happ. I think he's going to get traded. I don't remember if he signed a contact ex- extension, but he's pretty young in the Cubs. I don't know. Really know what they're doing. They got a bunch of old former good guys. Nobody's really good now. Um. Besides their first baseman, but um, Ian Happ what number nine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you with Ian Happ, but you lost me at first baseman. First baseman, four time gold lover. Damn, right. Damn, right. Damn right, he says. What the fuck? Yeah. The hell is going on here? That... Really? World Baseball Classic champion. How, how, how do we lose ourselves in this one? <laughs> I'm with you on Ian Happ, though. Number nine. I'm I'm so with you. I think it's my turn. I, I skipped ahead. I I am me and Chenny, same page here. You're not with the first baseman. So same page with Chenny, except the first baseman. <laughs> right. That first baseman Chenny mentioned. Terrible. Hey, he's got he's got the the trophy, but he's not. Hardware. Got the hardware for it. Terrible. He's, just, he's just <laughs> good. He's a he's a good guy. Yeah. Ten years past good. We met him. Ten years past good. We met him. I'm not gonna say his name. <laughs> I'm not either. Ten I'm years Twitter past. friends with him. <laughs> and he's Twitter friends with his a hired guy that he has. <laughs> his agent. All right, yeah, no, his, over... his agent hired a guy to handle the My number eight is flip flop with Chenny. Mine's Chris Bryant, number nine. What the fuck? What? Are we kidding ourselves here? Boom, that's easy. Me and Roman both got him in that. Perfect. Chris Bryan, number Are nine. we kidding ourselves I mean, here? Shinny said most of it all, but, I mean, betting 306 but when you're not hurt is obviously benefiting the team. So, he did go to um, the Rockies for a bag, but got to do what you got to do. Fuck, dude. More homers from him. What the yeah. hell's going on around here? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, I, me and Shani were on the same page with nine. My number eight pick, I'm starting us off with the number eight round, is <coughs> World Series champion Michael Brantley. Michael Brantley Ooh. continues to 
rake even though he gets old. Dude, he's like 42. He, he's not that old. He's pretty old. He is pretty old. <laughs> How old is he? He, he's entering his age 36 season. Oh, I'm way off. That's not too bad. Uh, he's a year younger than you, Darvish. But last year he batted a 288. He had, I mean, he's only 64 games played. But when he's on the field, he's consistent. He bats around that 290 level. He yeah. gets RBIs, gets on base. He's just overall very consistent. Um, I don't care about his outfield defense anymore. I mean, he might be a DH role at this point of his career, but Michael Brantley is here to stay, and he just politely rakes is what I like to call it. Politely rakes, where you know what? You're not thinking about like, oh, he's hammering the ball, but all of a sudden you you flip to that page of the Astros and go, damn, Michael Brantley's having himself a, a fucking year. And it just it just happens, just happens. But like that for like the last two years. yeah, that's my number eight pick, Michael yeah. Brantley. My number eight's the same as Bob and Trevor's from their pick number nine, Ian Happ. I also think it's his last year with the Cubs. Um, but yeah, you know he's batted two seventy one, seventeen homers with a four point four WAR. Um, that's pretty good. But everything else, Bob and uh, Shane said already. So. Perfect. Yep. Switch hitter. Love it. Plays everywhere. Perfect. He's going to be something very valuable to a team come the trade deadline. Absolutely. My number eight is Christian Yelich from the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, wow. Kind of getting older, 31 years old. About at a 252, 57 RBIs with 14 home runs. Um, um, the Brewers gave him a bag for a reason. Um, plays very well at left field. Um, been playing a good, like past three years, been playing very pretty good. I'd say number eight, Christian Yelich. You consider a left fielder? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Don't even question it. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny. I thought it's it was my turn. Yeah, I thought it was right fielder. Oh no! Oh, right fielder. They have a guy named Garrett Mitchell who plays there. Ah, he didn't make my list anyway. <laughs> um, my number eight. Funny Roman uh, says it, but my former favorite player in MLB, Christian Yelich, um, coming off that 2018 MVP that he had, um, B A former Dodger and Cody Bellinger out for that Holy year. Shit, that's a long time ago. Yep. Um, Five years? I still think oh. Yelich has one to two more above average years left in him. I'm hoping this year will be one of them. The Brewers are sneaky, consistent. See, feels like um, first, second place, and then I'll central pretty much the last five or six years. But he is getting older, like Roman said, and hasn't produced since that MVP season. I just like Christian Yelich as a person, a human, and that's why he's in my top ten. Perfect. My number seven is going to be a first-time nominee to my list, and that is Cleveland Guardians outfielder Stephen Kwan. Can you talk about Michael Brantley? This is a mini Michael Brantley. <laughs> Hit 298 left handed. All he does is get on base. It feels like base hits, base hits, base hits. Young 25 hits, years old. Don't even get me started. He hits six bombs, 62 walks, and plays a phenomenal left field. 21 yeah. defensive runs saved with a 4.4 war. Steven Kwan, low key, low key. Fire. My number, number seven. seven. They're sleeping on a little here. No, not sleeping. Sleeping. Not sleeping. This is perfect for him. Sleeping He's just getting started. Just getting started. He's got to climb up the list. Sleeping on a little layer. Let's hear yours. Sleeping on a little layer. My number seven? Yep. My number numero seven is Tyler O'Neill of numero the siete, Cardinals. You mean? Cardinals. <laughs> um, Jimmy Jack, Tyler O'Neill. Jimmy Jack. <laughs> He's going to come in for you clutch every now and then. 
Um, he's going to have himself a nice season. But the Cardinals need him to step up this year. If the Cardinals want to make a deep playoff run, they need Tyler O'Neill to have a senior type of season for them. Step up to where one of those big dogs, like Albert Poole host seasons, like drop 30 bombs, 100 RBIs on them seasons for them in left field. Um, so we'll see what he does. But I'm expecting big things from Tyler O'Neill, San Jose Cardinals. My number seven. Tyler Neal. Number seven. Number seven. My number seven. First time All Star last season was a has been has been has been never was is only he's been in the same division for all three teams he's played on, <laughs> and that's Andrew Benintendi. Oh, oh that. that Coming out of left season. field for sure. Didn't see that one coming. You know, about a three or four last season. Uh, <laughs> guy gets on base. You know. What team does he play for now? <laughs> the White Sox. Yankees. The White Sox. The Yankees. No, he's a no, White, White Sox. Sox. He's a he's a White Sox. <laughs> the Yankees. The Yankees. Oh, <laughs> uh, he's on the Yankees. The Yankees. <laughs> I went to the spring training game and I saw I saw him walk. I was watching him walk over back to the dugout. So I I had seen him. Fun fact: I've seen sizes me. Love it. He uh he won college player of the year over Alex Bregman in the same conference. Fun fact. Yes, you see. Fun fact. Fun fact. From Arkansas. Hear that in the show all the time. All right, number six. Get it, Bob. Number six? Yes. Number six? Um, Steve McQuan. Oh, I'm right there with you. Steve sleeping, McQuan. you have him one uh, early. <laughs> yeah, you were, you're you sleeping on him a little bit. Um, Steven came out of nowhere, Quan. Um, absolutely love the story on this kid. Um, he's very tiny. 5'9", 170. Bats left, throws left. Had a 5.5 war. Um, 168 hits, six bombs, 298 batting average. Absolutely a big fan of this guy. You know, he reminds me of the Goonies. Goonie never say die. He just he just won an Oscar. I know. That's so. Stephen Kwan just won, Oscar. just won an Oscar. Just won my fandom. Um. All right, that's my number six. That's mine also. Oh, Colin has had your whole list. Smart guys. <laughs> Colin does <laughs> homework. Yep. Mm. Mm. All right. Says, I'll let it slide. <laughs> I'll let it slide. <laughs> Haven't done that since fucking 2017. You have done your homework? <laughs> homework. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get it, Roman six. Number six, Taylor Ward of the Los Angeles Angels. Man, I feel like you're just like so really He's a here. late bloomer. <laughs> I don't know. I'm wondering. If he's Late bloomer. Yeah. Yeah. 281 <laughs> batting average. Where the fuck is Robert going out here? Home runs, 65 RBIs. Um, yeah. 29 years old. Late bloomer. Oh, Had a great career. Uh, great career. Great season last. Um, I didn't know that. <laughs> last he's, season. He's way up. But, um, but um, yeah. Number six. What am yeah, Jenny? Award. You're number six. Honey, you should ask Robert. My number <laughs> six is the fuck Taylor Ward from the Los Angeles Angels. Oh and Jesus! Me and Roman oh, are man. thinking on the same ah. brain waves right now. Late bloomer, yes he is, but had a coming out party due to the injuries of superstar Michael Trout. And Co. Oh, in in wow. Anaheim, twenty three bombs from a guy who maybe played in a hundred games, maybe first time, first time in his career plays has a has innings played at every single position on the field besides pitcher, I think, yes. but can play anywhere. I like him in left field. Found a home there. Hits good against righties. Sleeping on him in this position. Angels need him Even to go minutes, off yeah. if they want to be good. Number six needs to prove something to me. He's needs to ass. prove something to me. Well, I'll go next. My number five is Taylor Ward. Taylor Ward. Exactly. <laughs> so, you 
you guys already said everything about it. Now you can say yours, Bob. Bob's our five is <laughs> Taylor Ward. No. Or Robert. My number five is Randy Rosarena. Really? Yeah, Randy had a 2.8 war last season at 586 at-bats, 154 hits, 20 homers, batted at 263. Um, I feel like this was a little bit of a step down of a sophomore season for Randy. Um, I mean, I know he's having a great time at the World Baseball Classic for Team Mexico right now, and Roman's giving me the death stare right now if you are watching on fucking YouTube. but Because it's way too early. It's definitely not, not way too early. Way no, too early. not way too early. Not even not early. way too early. This is, this is not way this too early fixed. because this is. Well, I mean, do you have them in top three? You guess were, what? It's Matt already Eddie there. It's backwards. already there. Oh no! Oh, you're you're, you're missing someone. Three. Then you're missing somebody. You're, you're missing, missing nobody. Somebody. I am missing nobody. You're missing somebody. You have to be. There's no three. Problem. There's three better than him. There's just right, three. Well, Randy, Randy Rosarena, my no numero five. There's three better than him. I can guarantee it. Nope. I bet. Life on it. Nope. Right, number five. Four. My number four is Dalton Varsho. Colin, turn Tuesday. the mic on. What the fuck? <laughs> Absolutely. What that, the fuck? 235, only 27 home runs last year. I you mean, mean, batting, I mean not good <laughs> offense. Shitty, did you hear the, Did you hear this way correctly? Yeah. Yeah. Plays Dalton catcher most of the time. But an outfit, plays catcher most of the time, but outfielder also. Better at outfield than and catcher, and he what didn't make fuck? he didn't make my catcher's list, so he's making my left fielder's list. Any of our three what lists. the Good. fuck? That's your guys' list. This is my list, buddy. You're you missing know, somebody. You're missing someone at the top, buddy. Right? You're missing, missing somebody. somebody. Not you not have to be. You have, have to be. You doesn't have our number one. <laughs> his, his list is fucking. His list is garbage if he doesn't have it. All right, all right, right number four, Shenny, go ahead. Well, I didn't say my number five. Oh, you're number five. Yeah, it, five. my mom five. We have oh. four more people. Oh, left. I already said five. I said you my guys are freaking out. Why have, we have the same top three. My bad, my bad, my bad. I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Yes, we do. I thought that was your number four. That was your number five. All right, your number five, Shenny, go. My number five is Tampa Bay Rays sophomore slump winner. Randy Rosarena. <laughs> yeah. 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 After hitting 10 bombs in the World Series I'm in 2020, on the same page right here. he's only hit 20 home runs since then. He hit 10 in one month and has hit 20 Watch. since then. Watch. He is a tournament type playoff vibe guy only. I want him on, on my team if it's a tournament slash playoffs. Anywhere else, he can stay on the Rays. I don't care. But Randy Rosarena. Number five. Number four, Randy and Rosarena. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you guys. You have that four too. Absolutely. Randy and Rosarena, <laughs> he's fucking killing it in WC, WBC. He can get an RBI whenever he wants to. I mean, this guy's clutch, doesn't drop a ball in the outfield. Um, Yeah. Top four, top five, number four. He just said he was top Randy or Razor Arena. Yeah. <laughs> he said he was top three. I met, like, you, you guys did that to me, though. You guys can fucking confuse me. <laughs> you guys can fucking confuse me. Oh, we set him up. We set him up. I mean, Randy's not top three. He's top four. Top five, top four. at least. Top five for sure. Top five. Guy's killing I mean, me. He's, he's clutch. Five. He's clutch. You, 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 you can switch him in between four, five, and six. He's my number five for now. <laughs> uh, yes. for now. Oh, this is all for now. <laughs> this is all for now, and he's only getting better. This is all for now. <laughs> is it my for sure? Yes. For now it's your four. Number four. It's Taylor Ward. Taylor Ward plays everywhere. Stepped up huge this past. Plays season everywhere. You're mad at Dalton Varsho. Uh, they got. They play Dalton everywhere. Dalton they, Dalton play Dalton Dalton everywhere. Dalton <laughs> they play everywhere. They play everywhere. Fuck you. Fuck you. Taylor. You said 230? Oh, <laughs> Say the word. 281, oh 23 bombs. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Don Barzo, 230? Yuck. Puke. Puke. That's catcher numbers. Yeah, catcher yeah, numbers. Didn't make my catcher's list, but how to make yeah, my left fucking, number. Yeah, that's because he's number fucking 15 <laughs> catcher. <laughs> fucking 18 outfielder. Doesn't matter. Didn't make either Fuck of my off. lists. Fuck off. And he's your top, he's top five on you? Fuck off. 
holy <laughs> shit talking <laughs> mushrooms ladies and gentlemen uh yeah taylor word stepped up huge for them plays infield plays outfield for the angels um you know coming out party he's old he's entering his age 30 season this year so he better step up if he wants to get a lick of a dollar but Taylor Ward, I absolutely adore this season. Maybe I might put him too high because I had him on my fantasy team. Yeah, this might be too high on my list because he was oh. starting every day on my fantasy team last year, but absolutely love Taylor Ward. Tiss, tiss, man. Tiss, tiss. Number three. Who's that? My, my, my turn, number four. Tyler O'Neill of the St. Louis Cardinals. Wow. Bob had Bob said he's Jimmy Jack. He is a little bit more than Jimmy Jack. He is steroid through and through. Um and played needs to play better in 2023. Injuries derailed his 2022. He riz the eighth ranked in the MVP voting in 2021. But 2022 couldn't repeat it. 2023, we'll see what happens. I got him number four. My number three is just just a player that I despise. I truly hate this man. <laughs> um, I hope he has a, a down year. How do you hate a guy that hits 46 homers? I, I hate him. I hate him. I hope he <laughs> can't feel the ball. Defensive-wise, I hope me? his numbers get worse. Um, I think you guys know who I'm talking about now. Kyle Schwarber of the Philadelphia Phillies. <laughs> this man has tortured my my past off seasons slash Everything. October's. Every time I see this man up at the plate, he hits a fucking nuke, and it's literally the farthest ball I've ever seen hit. Yep. So number three, Kyle Schwarber. I'm on the same page as you, Shane. Philadelphia. Um, we just wa- we watched him hit one of the farthest hit balls ever in Petco Park history. Yes. I despise Kyle Schwarber. I wanted him on the Padres very badly, but he ended up being a Philly. That's the only reason you despise him. If um, he was on the Padres, you'd say, "Oh, I love him. He'd be your number one." In the no, in no, 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 no. He right still now. only bats a two eighteen. Um, he's on my list this high because of the 46 home runs exactly 46 homers exactly. i mean exactly that's enough to put you first that's enough to no put you first. it's not because a, a 2.2 2 war yes 2.2 2 war bat in a 218 it's no, not the greatest the year and you're protected no, by talking about it all day you're, you're not a one-man show him. either you're talking you're not a one-man show he's been protected by a lot Nicholas Castellanos. He's 46 home runs. Who's Bryce helping him do that? Harper. Who's helping him hit 46 had, home runs? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just him in the back. Yeah, 200, 200 strikeouts. strikeouts last mm-hmm. Almost 50% of his hits were homers. Yes. Tanks. I mean, tanks. He can get one when you need it. He's the number three because he's a DA. He can do that. Really good at it. It's very good. I He's the number three for me as well. Sad, sad times. What about you over there? Mine's number three is Tyler O'Neill. I think Kyle Schrober is definitely top two in the league. But you yeah, missed someone. You missed someone. You missed three. someone. He's 28 years old, 228 batting average, 56 RBIs. You guys pretty said everything you need to say about him. But, yeah, number two is Kyle Schwarber. You guys already said it, but right, I think he's top right. two in the league for sure. Clutch. Clutch can hit a home run whenever he wants to. Number I mean, two. Yep. Love it. My number two, Shani's number two, Colin's number two. Once over. Your Donna Alvarez. Oh, no. whoa. Your Donna two? Yep. I got Who'd one. You have? Yeah, at Juan number Soto two. You also. You're tripping if you don't think. <laughs> um, Juan Soto's number one. I, I mean, Juan Soto's coming off the worst year of his entire career. Of his 27-year-old life. He's, worst career of his 27-year-old, 26-year-old life. I don't care how old he is. He's tw- like 24, 25, 24. 25, and he had his worst year of his whole life. Yes. Yeah. You don't think he's coming back from that? I mean, I, I definitely think he's going to come back for it, but I'm putting him at number two because – he batted a 242 last year. I mean, he still had a great overall year, 127 hits, 27 homers. Um, 
I mean, he's not great defensively, but he's still very good overall. Um, I might be projecting. I might be projecting. I hope. I hope he's the best left fielder. I hope he's the best player in the goddamn sport. <laughs> but if he's two, that's fine. But if he's number two, I'm okay with. Him. Yes, because Jordan is on. Another Goddamn, level. Jordan he is, is so a fucking good. another animal. And he's the same age as Soto. How oh, older? He's 25. He'll be 26. Goddamn, Dodgers traded Soon. Jordan Alvarez. Yes. To the Astros. 37 homers for a the Dodgers really? reliever. Yes. Back in the day, Damn. was his oh, home? Did he have a home run against the? Mariners or was it the the Guardians, the walk off? You guys remember that or no? Um, in the playoffs in the playoffs. I think it was Mariners. The fastball right down the middle. That ball was crushed. I don't it's remember exactly, but Jordan had a great year overall, war wise. Six point eight WAR, thirty seven balls better, three hundred six, one hundred forty four hits. They gave him a great defensive overall year. I mean, what else can you ask for from this fucking giant of a human being? You're on Alvarez, fucking World Series champion. I mean, OPS one point oh one nine. When, it, when is this man a free agent? Also, also, why I have Juan Soto ranked higher? Yeah, twenty twenty nine. I see that. He just signed a six year, one hundred fifteen million dollar extension. Wow, they fucking. Do you, that. That's dirt. Do you that's... think? Do you think that Jordan can repeat these numbers? Or do you think he can improve them? He's done it for three years. I think Jordan can improve them, but do I expect him to improve? No, I think he's going to realistically have a little bit lower of a year because I can't expect him to go as great as he did. Um, but he's going to have a relatively great overall season. Yeah, He won MVP, right? No, not this year, no. I don't. Who the fuck won AL MVP? Why can't Why can't his name come to my head right now? This year. Oh, Judge. I'm an idiot. Yeah, Judge broke the fucking homer record. Yeah. Um, that's not a Yankees fan. Does, does Judge repeat a crazy year that he had? Uh, I, I think he breaks fifty. If I'm being honest, if he stays healthy, obviously this is him playing. I think he could break fifty. That's fucking 13 less than what he hit last year, which is fucking crazy. That 13 still, is like a lot at the end of the year, though, for him to get. Oh, that's – it's literally insane because Schwarber hit 46 and led the NL. He hit 63. Crazy. And he almost had 20 more bombs. Insane. In fucking insane. Yeah, I think we're all we're all tied up there. Roman, who's your one? Who Jordan Alvarez. So, no Soto for you? No Soto. So, you don't consider Soto a left fielder? <laughs> Don Varsho better. <laughs> I don't ever see Roman at the Padre game. Chairman no, Soto. you guys caught me for sure. I Not definitely once. forgot about Juan Soto. How do you, forget? you forget about Juan Soto moving to left field. You forget yeah. about one of the best Yes. Players. He is, he's <laughs> a center fielder, no? No. What? he's a. He what? was traditionally a right fielder. A right fielder? He's moving to left field because of Fernando Tatis taking over right, right field full time. Right, right, right. See, we caught you in a Don't pickle. act like I'm a fucking retard, Colin. Sorry, that's how it made me feel, though. Leave right. that out. Oh, you did not say he was a center fielder. What? You said he was a center I was. Fielder. I didn't know he was a left fielder. I knew he was somewhere else. I didn't think he was. I don't picture him in left field. Your number one was a tie. Yes, tie. That's fine. One A, one B. That was slick. That was fly, Roman. I couldn't say one A, one B. Yeah. How slick. slick. Thank you. Appreciate it. That was slick. <laughs> yeah, we should. All right. Yeah. Another wrong being average. Like, comment, subscribe. Absolutely. Yell at Roman in the comments because he messed up. <laughs> um, no, we fixed it. At the no, end. no, 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 one A, one B. I knew we, I was, we I caught was your mistake it. like round six. We caught you with your pants down. You better right. figure it out. I pulled time. them back up quick. All right, another <laughs> one being average. Uh, deuces. Love you guys.